Oh, head up! Oh. Ah! The most dominant force in all sports. Day three of the draft, leaving the Magnuson Hotel in Goodlettsville, Tennessee, home of the 2012 Little League American World Series champions. Um, the hotel experience was a little sketchy. Uh, the door didn't lock, and the cleaning lady, when she came in to clean the room, uh, she took our personal soap. So when we checked out, we had to go back and get the soap. Uh, but there was a little bit of a language barrier and some confusion as to what I was saying when I wanted the soap back. Uh, but we got the soap and we're headed to Nashville for the last day of the draft. Day three of the draft. Uh, there's a marathon going on today in Nashville. Who knew? So half the roads are closed. So we had to park pretty far away from Broadway where everything's going on today. We actually parked in front of someone's house. Yeah. Whether that's legal so, or if it's ethical but it's free but it's and free. that's what we're about so on the way uh to the draft stuff day three it's a big day today draft or the falcons have seven, seven picks pick. seven picks today they have six they have two in each of the first two rounds um, and i'm wearing a giant's jersey to celebrate so it's a good day day three we were able to get close the closest that we got to the stage all weekend there was the least amount of people i guess watching and so we were able to get pretty close. Just left the Heisman house at the draft. Got some free stuff, which is always good. Yeah. Nice quality t-shirt. Quality t-shirt, not like a, the cheap stuff. Got a picture with the actual Heisman trophy that's probably not the actual Heisman trophy and the actual Tim Tebow, which isn't the actual Tim Tebow. So, a bunch of fake stuff. We tried to take in as much of Nashville and the draft as we could as we knew we were leaving pretty soon after. While the original plans were to stay for all 254 picks and see Mr. Irrelevant at the end, um, on Thursday on the way up we did find out about Chattanooga FC and they had a game that night and so we definitely wanted to check that out. So we were getting ready to leave the NFL draft and we turned a corner and saw ESPN's coverage of the NFL draft and within that coverage was none other than the GOAT herself, Mina Kimes, and Jake's eyes lit up like King's Landing. I don't know. That, that was dumb. What I don't know. It? I, I, it's something with Game of Thrones. I think it blew oh. up or something. Well, anyway, I'm in love with Mina Kimes. Sorry, Rachel. That? Daniel Jones, not day one. Do you think he'll... Do you think Daniel Jones plays this season? Basically just kind of lost it there for a second. It was kind of crazy. She was doing her job, like always. Good at her job. Yeah, very good. Um, giving the most extensive draft coverage. She's also talking about Chipper Jones randomly and how he follows her on Twitter. Being local, brave fans, that was good too. So seeing Mina Kimes was the perfect exclamation point to a great weekend at the draft. And so we took that momentum out uh, to find my next newest love, Chattanooga FC. Chattanooga and sorry there was a chance and we noticed that there was a soccer game Saturday that we may or may not make and we made it <laughs> barely barely we missed the first half but we're here Chattanooga FC against AFC Mobile in the National Premier Soccer League the first ever actual game live action athletes going on of our journeyman tenure yes First ever will always be Chattanooga FC in AFC Mobile. Four nothing in the 50th minute for the home team. So it's been a little bit of a beatdown. We haven't seen a goal yet. They were all in the first half. The atmosphere here seems pretty great. Just imagine your local high school football team, except for they're good, kind of, and people care. We got 
chance and stuff. Good organization. Good passion. You could actually end up buying a stake in the team. Yes, if you want to own a soccer team, Chattanooga FC is looking for owners. June 1st, so you have to have at least $125. We'll keep you updated on whether we decide to make the plunge or not. But until then, check out this game. So on the sports side of it, on the field, Chattanooga won nine to nothing. Could have been like twelve. The the most dominant force I've ever seen. Let's just let's just call it what it is. The most dominant force in all sports. But off the field, uh, they're also very <laughs> dominant. So, Greatest rivalry ever, apparently. I mean, I think this was the first installment. But it's the Moon Pie Belt. They gave away three moon, moon pies. pies. We got five Moon Pies. <laughs> This is incredible. Chattanooga, you've done well. Supporter section, good stuff. Moon pie, man of the match with free moon pies. Definitely a... not the last time in Chattanooga for a Chattanooga FC game. Great atmosphere in Chattanooga. The Chattahooligans were there. Just a nice surprise taking in. Because, I mean, we just want to take in as much sports as we can. And so, honestly, I just never even wanted to leave. But all good things must come to an end. So we unfortunately had to leave Chattanooga and head back home to Dahlonega. Altogether, the trip had to be considered a success. Got to take in the draft. There was tons of winners and losers there, and we even got to check out a bonus soccer game on the way back. We finally did arrive safely back at home, and thus ended our first trip as journeymen. Thank you for following along this journey to the 2019 NFL Draft. If you like this journey, please follow us on Twitter and subscribe to us on YouTube, as we'll have many more journeys coming very soon and on the way. And remember, the journeymen are always undefeated. Never lost. Alright, we did it. You're so good at this! <laughs>